Time to create the second floor. Here, we don't need to create the entire second floor. For this demonstration and training, we just want to create the hallway and the master bedroom because we're going to walk through later in an animation that's going to walk you down the stairs or back up it. Plus, we want to create the staircase and the railing for the staircase. We're going to use the follow me tool. So we need some of the hallway to actually create that framework and starting point. Unlike the first floor, what we're going to do for the second floor, remember we have this as a group already. So we're just going to take the rectangle tool and we're going to draw out the footprint of the second floor right on top of the first floor. So I'm measuring out the inside dimensions there. And for the second floor, the inside dimensions are actually just to the inside here of the dining room. So I'll measure that out as well. Next, let's take the move tool and move this face up. The second floor is 13 inches higher than the finished ceiling line of the first floor. Let's go ahead and move this area up as well. Let's take the move tool, move this face up in the blue axes. I don't want to move it up 13 inches because remember this finish line is a little bit lower. Instead, we're going to press the up arrow to lock in the blue axes. And we're going to infer to our other height here. Now see that weird glitch that SketchUp does where it flips the face? So this face it did correct, this face it didn't. You can reverse that. First, let's move this over in the green axis till it snaps there. And let's just take the eraser and erase that edge. That way we have the basis of our plan here. Now like the first floor, let's offset those walls. And we're gonna offset them six inches. Next, let's start in the bottom left-hand corner here with our measurement. These are inside dimensions, remember. Our first measurement is 146 inches. So instead of drawing that, we're gonna use the tape measure tool with the plus sign. Turn on that little plus sign there. That's gonna give you the guide. Type in 146 inches. And going this way, we're gonna use the tape measure tool again and draw our points. So in this case, 25 inches, 31 and a half inches, 55 and a half inches, and 31 and a half inches again. Those are the two windows. Next, just take the line tool, draw the line, break up the master bedroom. This line you can actually draw all the way back. The thickness of the wall here is five inches. Let's go ahead and draw a guide, five inches. And let's draw that line all the way across the hallway there. Before we delete these guides, let's just go ahead and draw the lines in for our windows. And now we can go to Edit, Delete Guides to remove those. Now we can do the hallway. We want to take the tape measure tool again. And this time we want to go out 35 and a half inches. And then we want to go with the line tool an inch and a half, then 36 inches, and then seven and a half inches. Then bring that line over. Take the guide again. The hallway here is 34 inches. Now take the line tool, draw 16 inches, then the doorway is 30 and a half, and then it's 174 inches to this wall right here. Then it's 18 inches, 34 inches, 24 inch door. It's a really narrow door to the bathroom. Then it's a really narrow trim to the other door here. So it's an inch and a half. Then you have an inch and a half this way. Then a 30 inch door. And then the remaining wall here. Our opening length here is 82 and a half inches. So let's take a guide from this point here, draw down 82.5. And now let's go ahead and cut out this area here. So if I use the rectangle tool, you could use the line tool. You could draw a line from here to here, and then here to here. I prefer to use the rectangle tool in this case because it's just a two click. Let's offset this wall so that we have the walls that we can extrude up. Take the select tool and select all of the lines along this edge. Now you may have to zoom in close to get some of these because remember there's the inch and a half and inch and a half there. We can't use offset and just offset the entire face. It's too many pieces to select. So just be careful where you're clicking. And if you do click the face by accident, like I've done, 
just hold down shift and deselect it. We have them all selected. Take the offset tool and offset this five inches. So now that we have all the inside walls and the outside walls of the second floor drawn up, our next step is to now extrude the interior walls and cut out the opening for the staircase. That way we can start creating some of the interior elements within the house.